Alright, so carrying on from last video, um, we got to the point where we'd written the white, uh, we'd got it to the filling the canvas with white. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to draw a um, rectangle on the screen. This is just so that we can um, uh, so we can have something to change colour on or whatever. Use as a button, whatever. Um, so we're going to draw that on game display. Um, we're also going to go make it green. So this is where the green and light green come in. Light green being the active colour, normal green being the non-active colour, of course. Uh, we're also going to go make... We also need a column there. And we need a hundred... a hundred... a uh, hundred... fifty. So that's x position 100, y position 100, width 100, and height 100. Um, oh, height, height 50, sorry. So it's like a long, short um, button. We're also then going to go button, and um, obviously I haven't, in, in my other codes, I've defined the actual position and everything of the button, and so I can use the constant variable um, rather than hard coding. Um, to do this, but uh, sadly for this one, we're gonna just do 100, 100, 100, 50. So we're gonna have to type that out every time we need to do that sort of thing. Although that isn't much because uh, we're just passing these into a new function um, next time. So we're gonna go then light green, light underscore green, and we're also gonna go action, and that equals. Bu uh, button. So it's passing off the button action to the next function. Now we also need to put in pi game dot update. Um, sorry, pi game dot display dot update. And then we put it underneath that clock dot uh, tick. And then we, in that we're going to put 15. So that's going to make it repeat uh, the loops 15 times, uh, loop through the, this uh, function 15 times a second, so that when you put your mouse over the function, it's kind of like instant looking um, reaction time, although it's reacting at f 15 times a second sort of thing. So it's not every second. Right. This is where it's going to get reasonably difficult because we have to uh, define the function that it's being passed into. So that's going to be button. Um, uh, and we're going to pass in some functions called uh, x, y, width, height, height, and active color. Oh, sorry, active underscore color, and action, which is equal to none with a capital N to begin with. So this means that it passes this this hundred here into the button function as x, this hundred here into the button function as y, this hundred here in the button function into width, this fifty here into height, the active color of light green, and the action button to overwrite none. Um, obviously that that are uh, is how what your what the variable names will be when inside this function. So if I go and start writing um, this function out, I'm gonna do a cursor equals and click equals. So this is gonna be detecting the mouse click. So pi game dot mouse dot get dot pause. Oh sorry, underscore pause underscore pause with uh, parentheses. Um, so that's going to get the mouse position when the user's like moving around the screen, so on, so on. Um, so like, as you can see, I might move my thing around, it's detecting stuff, you know. Um, now the click. So the click is going to be pi game dot mouse dot uh, sorry, mouse dot get it's called pressed, and that needs parentheses too. And then if x plus 
width. So that's the x position across the ground plus, so, so starting here, plus however long the button is, so it goes from corner to corner, um, is, uh, sorry, I think it's greater than, cur yeah, curs wait, sorry, greater than cur zero, which is greater than x, and y is y plus, oh sorry, what did I do there, oops, uh, y plus height, so that's, oh shit, height, oh shit, friggin hell, height, there we go, y plus height, so the y position on the y axis, plus the height, so height obviously adding it goes down, uh, so it's kind of an opposite, um, starting at the top, plusing to go down, plus whatever height of the button is, so this is going to be standard for any button you make, you can make it any place, anywhere on the screen sort of thing, just pass it through with this function here, um, plus height is uh, greater than cur1, uh, that cur1 and cur0 is the, uh, the positions in the y, x and y axis, um, Uh, y with colon. Um, now what you need to do is you need to go pi game dot pi game dot draw dot rect. So this is going to draw a rectangle over the top of the other one. It needs to be game display. Um, it needs to be active car, active color. So this is where you use the variables from the part being passed into the function, and then it needs um, that and and x, y, width, height. So that's working, being passed. Obviously, the width, height, length, x, y, whatever is being passed into the function and then used. So possibly now this might work. Um, right, obviously recolouring. Yeah, so there you go. So you can see it working. Um, obviously it doesn't work for clicking yet, but we're going to work on that next. Um, so yeah, this will be another video. Uh, I'm going to end it here. Obviously I'm going to move over into a third uh, part. I, would, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to. Um, but it shouldn't be much longer, it might be a little bit more in the next part. I'm going to copy over some more stuff that is going to be in the description um, of the video, of the video that's been copied over, of course. So, um, stay tuned for the next video, and yeah, see you.